Hi! In a recent Let's Play episode, I designed and built a chunk loader, and it was done with certain assumptions that I thought were correct. But ever since then I've been getting a lot of comments. Many of these comments seem to be slightly confused and very contradictory. And I assume it has something to do with the changes that have been done in 116. And people are just going on all the information, but well, it's better to verify things. So there are various different things that people say don't work or are different or that I just think need to be verified. The first one is that mini HUD doesn't render the spawn chunks correctly. The world spawn is on this diamond block in this creative world. And I have carefully drawn squares where I think the spawn chunks should be according to the wiki. So the yellow band is the first chunks that are not entity processing but they're still processing redstone. Then we have the next layer, the blue ones, which are... I'm not exactly sure what they are, but they are not supposed to be processing redstone. And then there is the outer gray layer, which I don't actually understand at all, and let's ignore it for now. And the yellow layer should be 10 chunks away from where we are now. So let's set this one up and do some counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is this is the tenth. So that is according to the wiki for how the spawn chunks should be in 116. Let's disable this and now let's turn on mini HUD and the spawn chunk rendering in mini HUD. And we can see the green border that Minihad renders shows this correctly. Then there is a second border, which is not very clear to me. So these should be redstone and entity processing. This should only process redstone and not entities. And this shouldn't process redstone at all. But the inner layer of Minihad does match with my calculations. It does that on the other edge as well. I have verified that earlier. So I would give Minihud a pass because you don't really care about the outer layers and they are easy to figure out anyway. And I do care about the inner layers. So let's give it a pass. Even though the additional borders that Minihud draws are not entirely clear to me why they are there. Now for the next step, we need to verify redstone processing. And I am making an assumption here. This assumption might not be true, and I assume that people will yell at me if they don't think this is true. But I do believe it's true. And that is that a hopper pulling items out of a chest is just a redstone action. It's not entity processing because it's the entities are not free out in the world. So I have enabled hopper counters in the carpet mod, and if I put down a chest here, this is a chest full of apples, and then I will do the same thing over here. This is still within the fully processing chunks. We have apples here. We have apples here. We have apples here. And just for good measures, we put apples here. I will now teleport out of this place quite far away, reset the counters, and look at what the counters are reporting now. We have counters for yellow, for green, and for red. Green and red are within the full spawn chunks, yellow is in the non-entity processing spawn chunks, and the other are not counting, so we can assume that this works fine. Let's do this again just to see that the counters have not stopped and again and again just for good measure and we're fine and this experiment verified that redstone processing is working the way I think it should be 
by the way, this here is the red wool. So it's on the edge of what I believe are the fully processing chunks. And this is just to verify that I don't have any off by one errors in my setups here. So the next contraption we're going to be playing around with is this thing. Instead of the chest being emptied straight into the hopper that is doing the counting, we just put the chest here. And we're going to be throwing the apples into that hopper. Ah, this is good enough. Let's put it there. Let's put that one there. And put this one here. So my assumption is that this requires entity processing chunks. And my assumption is then that the green and red should be counting up when I teleport out. But the yellow should no longer do that. So let's teleport. Reset the counters. And we're getting green and red but not yellow, so it would seem that my assumption is correct, both for the border being correct between red and yellow, and that yellow are not processing entities. Now for the next experiment, I have put chests on both the redstone processing and the entity processing contraptions. Now we're gonna verify if the overworld actually unloads and the spawn chunks stop working when you are in the nether. So let's go here. Reset our counters. And we will now see that the counters are still counting. But the yellow is no longer counting the entity processing contraption. As you can see this only does 9000 items per hour because we use the same wool for both the redstone and the entity and these are basically twice as much which means that both entities and redstone is being processed. But now enough time has passed. The counters have gone up way less than they should. This one is stuck at 26. 51, 51 and if we look at the counters they are stuck. And this strongly indicates that the spawn chunks in the overworld are not processing. And this is consistent with the information that 15 seconds after you leave the overworld, the spawn chunks do unload. The entire overworld unloads and you no longer have any spawn chunks if nobody is in the overworld. Now let's refresh the chests here on all these contraptions and we're gonna make the next experiment and the next for the next experiment i have built a simple little chunk loader that is should be now loading this chunk the chunks around it and my assumption is also the overworld so let's go into the nether and yes that was a very silly clock but we're not aiming for performance or precisions right now Reset the counters and let's verify that things are still counting and we're gonna give it 15 seconds to see if the counters have stopped. It would appear that the overworld is still loaded and the spawn chunks behave just like we want them to behave. I'll give it a minute just to see if anything goes wrong but it doesn't seem like it does. And it seems that the counters are still going the way they should be. Which means that chunk loaders, even when they are not in the spawn chunks, do load the spawn chunks. So, what have we learned? Minihud does show the relevant spawn chunks, which is the entity ticking. The other ones are so easy to figure out, so I wouldn't blame Minihad for showing some additional borders which are irrelevant. The inner border is the only one you need to care about, and Minihad shows it fine. Redstone processing works as expected, so it's 10 chunks out from the spawn chunk plus the spawn chunk, so it's the 21 by 21 chunk area. Entity processing also works as expected, so it's 9 chunks out from the spawn chunk plus the spawn chunk, so the 19 by 19 area, these are the entity ticking or the full processing chunks. 
Spawn chunks do unload after 15 seconds of nobody being in the overworld. My test didn't show it was exactly 15 seconds, but I'm willing to trust the wiki and other information I have, and my test showed close enough. And chunk loaders anywhere will also load spawn chunks, even if the chunk loader is way outside of them. That should be it for this simple experiment. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments and I'll answer anything I understand. But otherwise, thanks for watching and have a good spawn chunking. Bye!